Hi, so we will continue our discussion on parameters of the line. We are in problem number 4. Okay, so let us read the problem first. You need to calculate the inductance of a 500 meter long, okay, single phase two wire line, no, two wire transmission line rather, and each wire has an, aid, has an identical cross sectional area of 10 millimeter, uh, 10 centimeters squared rather, and the conductors are separated with a distance of 5 meters. So, what is the inductance? Okay, we are ready on inductance here, which is the topic of L. And we consider a single phase two wire system. So, for example, we have here conductors 1 and 2 in a transmission line and separated by a distance D. Please take note, D is the distance between conductors and the smaller D here is the diameter of the conductor. Okay, since the problem, the given is area, so what will happen here is we need to get the radius first and then get the equivalent radius of the inductance, which is the 0.7788 of R, which is our plan of attack in solving this problem. Okay, let us have the solution already. You have A here, or area is pi R squared. So this is another form from pi over 4D squared, of course, in terms of radius. Now radius can be in terms of square root of area all over pi. Now, since we have 10 here, the uh, 10 centimeters squared, no, which is the area on the given, and the answer will have no, 1.784 centimeters. Okay, recall some uh, discussions from the previous slide in the inductance that the loop here we're considering in a single phase two wire no loop inductance it's like also the same thing with resistance so l loop is equal to two times l but here your l definitely is the two times the negative seven loan of the eq all over r prime or d all over r prime for a single phase two wire in terms of loop so we need to multiply it by two and our unit now will be in loop henry per meter so by doing so Okay, just substitute all of the values that we already have. You have 4 times the negative 7, loan 500. No, this is uh, uh, from the uh, uh, given here is 500 centimeters, no, not meters, 500 centimeters. All over 0 0.788 times 1.784. So this is already in centimeters as well, so it will cancel out. So you have Henry per meter and multiply it by 500 meters. And then you need to multiply it by 1 millihenry over 1 times the negative 3 henrys because the answer must be in terms of millihenrys. So by having that on your calculator, the answer is the loop inductance is 1.177 millihenry. Hello once again. So we will continue our discussion on problem number 5. This is uh, from our Tradis uh, uh, subject and the topic is parameters of the line. We are in the problem solving. So let us uh, read the problem first. So a uh, three-phase transmission line has its conductors arranged in a triangle so that the two of the conductors has a 25 feet distance and the other or the third, the distance is 42 feet. Determine the inductance and the inductive reactance per pace per, per mile, assuming that the ds of the conductors are given as 0 0.0284. Okay, let us have the given first and the illustration of the problem. We have a three-phase, three-wire system. And it is mentioned on the problem. We have a ds of 0 0.0284 feet. So please take notice already ds, and this is the 7788 of r, or your equivalent radius r prime, no? Okay, you do not need to get the radius and then multiply it by 0 0.7788, simply because this is already the self-geometric radius, or gmr, or self-distance. Now we have a transmission line, no, which is unequilaterally spaced, so unequilateral. So it means no the uh, distances between the three conductors are not equal to each other. But in this case we have two which is equal, which is 25 feet. 
And last but not the least, you have a 42 feet no, from uh, conductors 2 and 3 for illustration. Okay, we can have no the formula, which is L is equal to 2 times the negative 7, loan the EQ all over DS, which is Henry per meter per phase. Now we need to get the EQ first. So we already have established this one no, from our last lecture that uh, D12 is equal to do D23. Uh, and D31, you just multiply these distances here, D12 times D23 times D31, cube root, getting the mean. So for this, you have 25, 25 times 42 uh, raised to one third or cube root. The answer is 29.7196, no, 7196 feet. The DS simply equal to 0 0.0284 feet, which is we already described no, from the uh, uh, given of the problem. So for this, we just substitute dq and ds to the equation of your l and this is l per phase actually no since we are three phase three wire so that is equal to two times the negative seven loan of 29.716 196 all over 0 0.0284 both of them is in feet so it will cancel no both units now we need to have no the uh, uh, given or the uh, result rather in a millihenry per mile basis, so we need to uh, divide, uh, multiply by 1,000 so that the meter will cancel out. We need to uh, divide it by 1 times the negative 3 to cancel Henry, to have a millihenry. And your kilometers must be cancelled out, so 1.609 kilometers in one mile. So that the, <coughs> the remainder of the unit, excuse me, will be millihenry per mile. So we have this value here. So again, recall from your circuits too, to get that inductive reactance, you have 2 pi F times L. Considering a 60 hertz frequency, you have 2 pi 60 or 377 radiators per second multiplied by 2.23 millihenries. And thus, the answer will be 0 0.8435 ohm per mile. Very easy problem. So let us move forward to problem number 6. Okay, let us uh, continue our discussion on problem number six. This is from the parameters of the line under the topic of tradis or transmission and distribution. Let us uh, read the problem first. A five kilometer long three phase transmission line has a horizontal configuration of four feet spacing. If the conductor has a 336.4 MCM or mill circular mills and a GMR of 0 0.0244 feet and a resistance of 0 0.306 ohms per mile what is the impedance of the transmission line okay this is a former board problem a classic board problem so let us illustrate first the transmission line here you have an a b and c conductors having four feet spacing and our main goal is to get impedance so the plan of attack is we need to get XL first by having 2 pi FL from the, from the previous problem. And then since we have your R, okay, just add R and XL since they are connected in series. And from there, we can get the complex uh, result, which is, can be a rectangular or polar. Okay, this, that's the plan of attack. So let us uh, solve the problem now. If you have uh, for XL, we need to get the EQ again. Since you have A, B, B, C are the same, so you have 4 squared, and then from the return circuit of C, A, we have 8, and then raise to one third or cube root. Well, we, when we uh, uh, compute in your calculator, we have 5.0396 feet. Now your GMR is equal to the self-geometric distance, or DS, we have 0 0.0244 feet. And then from there, we can now substitute. On our main formula here, we have 2 times the negative 7, loan the EQ all over DS, which is in head 3 per meter per phase. So for that, we have 2 times the negative 7, loan 5.0396. You divide it by 0 0.0244, then, uh, so 244, and that is in Henry per meter. Whatever the answer there, we need to uh, uh, cancel the unit. The meter will cancel out definitely. Then it will have a kilometer, then kilometer will cancel since we have 5 kilometers on the given. The answer is uh, 5.33 millihenry per phase. 
So, get XL since we have uh, a typical 60 hertz frequency. So, you have 2 pi F, no? L. Okay, your L is uh, 5.33 times the negative 3. So, if you multiply omega by L, the answer is J2 ohms. Okay, now, since we need to get R in ohmic value as well, so you have 0 0.306 ohm per mile, just cancel mile here by having 1 mile 1.609 kilometer, and you have 5 kilometers in length. The answer is 0.95 ohms. Getting the R plus JX, as I mentioned a while ago, we have the series impedance no, of 0 0.9509 plus J2, or in other words, in polar representation, the answer is 2.2145 bar angle, 64.57 ohms, and as usual, this is your power factor angle theta. No? So, another very, very easy problem. No? If you know the basics of your electrical engineering, and if you review no, some of the uh, lessons that we have no, from our past lectures. Okay, let us move forward to another interesting problem on problem number seven.